as you guys know, the market's pretty dead in the auction house. That being said, I'm still here to show you guys today some snipe filters that I've been using. Uh, as you can see, I have around 6,000 MT. Um, yeah, hopefully the market comes more vulnerable for more people. I know it's been a little tough since you gotta get to gold, unlock the auction house. Some people are not trying to play that. First snipe filter I'm going to show you guys is the Amethyst Lowest Buy. Um, last time I checked, it was going around 12,000. So let's just keep lowering it until we find the lowest one here. So there, there we have it. Lowest is right now on the market PlayStation Store 11,500. Um, if you're on PC, Xbox, same idea. You just want to find the lowest with this and right now you can see 11,500 so if I'm looking to sell this amethyst card that I pick up for 12,000 depending on who it is I'm gonna want to try to snipe the card for 7,500 and below because 2k takes 10% of any card that you get can see i got a devin booker but he's only going around 12 as well so i wouldn't really pick up any card unless it's below 7500 on this first snipe filter yes yeah, since the market's been a little dead you might not find too Also because there's a lot of unauctionable cards uh, in the game at the moment. Uh, there's not going to be too many cards that are being out, but I started out with 5k MT. I've been flipping for a couple days, got up to 60k, so it's not terrible. It's doable. I've, I've for sure found some snipes. I got Joel, two cards for around 8,000, flipped them for 20, so don't really lose any hope on this Amethyst snipe filter. Next one I'm showing here is just the Amethyst Western. It's around the same idea, so you're gonna wanna set it to 12,000. And, which is like the lowest card here. So yeah, Luca and Devin. I just sniped those under 8,000, put them up for 12 to 13K sell and you'll make for these amethyst filters usually you'll make around a thousand to two thousand depending on what like what you pick them up for but if you get lucky and you get like an Embiid you can flip those for ten thousand profit which is a nice one but third filter here is the Russell Westbrook Russell Westbrook gold filter um yeah he's going around for nine thousand as the lowest which is a lot higher because of the current uh, objectives that you got to do with this card. I haven't really done the the challenges, but I know there are some challenges that you need Russell Westbrook for, which is why the gold goes for so high. But for anyone that's new to the game, doesn't know about these challenges, they might throw Russell Westbrook up for one, two thousand, and that's an easy flip to nine thousand right card here i'd buy under five thousand even six thousand but uh, any snipes you'll find would usually be under five thousand for this russell card and then i'd put them up for nine thousand make a three thousand dollar profit there and for this last filter i'm going to be showing you guys it's just the ruby uh, western conference cards so you're going to want to go to ruby color This one's not too big of a big of a snipe, but you might find more cards being put out just because it's uh, ruby cards out here. A lot of people pulling ruby cards in their packs are gonna want to get rid of them at low. 
so i'd look for any snipes around 750 and yeah 750 below and list it for 12,000. those are for like the low uh, rubies if you find something that's a little bit higher i know uh, pg Kawhi, i believe they're going for a bit more so you can definitely sell those for maybe 1400 1500 but if you pick up a jaw Yeah, any ruby card snipes they're gonna be under 750. yeah like i said snipe, sniping has been a little tough recently um kind of hoping the market gets better um if you guys want any more videos in the future about these new power search packs and how to snipe some cards on those filters for sure let me know in the comments